Hi, in the last video we were talking about creating components in Angular. In this video we will talk about the TypeScript files that are created with our components and specifically about those two methods, constructor and ngeonit method. The questions are, do we really need them? If we need them, why are they empty? Can we delete them? And the last question, how do we use them? Let's start answering those questions. First of all, let's try to delete them. I'm going to delete them and I also have to delete this part. Control S to save it. And as you can see, my application still works. So if we don't need them, why do we have them? Let's bring them back and talk about it. I'm going to go back to VS Code, press Control Z a few times to undo my changes and I'm going to press Control S to save it. These two methods were created by Angular CLI because they're the most commonly used methods in our components. As you can see, we can safely remove them if we don't need them, but if we need them, they're already there for us. Now, these two methods are different from the methods you are going to create. For example, if you create a method and place some code in it, this code on line 16 won't be executed until we call this method. The constructor method and ngon init method will be called regardless if we call them or not. Let's first talk about the constructor method. Let's place some code inside. The constructor method by definition is the method that will be called as soon as the class is being instantiated. So what does it mean? Our TypeScript file is the class and as soon as we instantiate it, this method constructor will be called and whatever is inside will be executed. It is very important to remember that this method is called before your template is ready for your use. And when I say your template, I refer to this HTML file. An HTML file defines our user interface. After this method is called, the Angular is continuing building our component. After this is all done and our component is ready, this ng on in its called and whatever is inside will be also executed. Let's put some code in it too. I'm going to change it to hello from ng on in it. Control S to save. Let me make a little bit more space. To show our console, you can press F12 or you can go inside our menu, go to more tools, developer tools. And here, if you have something else, just go to this submenu and choose console. Let's refresh our application. And as you can see, we have a message from hello from constructor and hello from ngon init. Let me fix my misspelling. Save it, control S. And you can see those two messages. I mentioned that you have to be very careful how you use a constructor. Let me show you an example. Let me make it a little smaller. And let's go to our HTML file and place an ID here. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it my paragraph. I'm going to save it by pressing Ctrl S. And from my TS file, first I'm going to go to my ngonInit method make some space. I'm going to type document, get element by ID. In single quotation marks, I'm going to place the ID dot in HTML and I'm going to assign the value from that element to a variable. After that, I'm going to display my variable in the console. Control S to save. And let's go to our application. Let's refresh it. 
And as you can see, this value is displayed right here. Let's go back to VS Code. We will cut lines 17 and 19 and paste it inside the constructor. Control S to save. And let's go back to our application. Refresh. And as you can see, here it says undefined. The reason for that is our constructor method was called before our template had been created. Let's go back to our VS code and let's undo this. Place it back to ng on init, control save. Go back to our application. As you can see, we have this value again. To know more about this ng on init method, you can go to the Angular official documentation. And in the lifecycle hooks chapter, if you scroll down, you can read more about it. Before we finish, I would like to mention that the most common usage of the constructor method is injecting services. And what it means, if you have a class somewhere in your application, you can inject that class using constructor to make it available to your component. Here you can see the example of injecting this hero service. Also, if you scroll down, you can see the suggestions about how to use the constructor. You can read about it more in this chapter, Add Services. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.